What are seven mobs likely to be added to Minecraft? That coming up next. Hi guys, I'm Ray Savage, owner of the Stinger Productions channel, and today we're going to be talking about seven uh, mobs, or animals, I guess you can call them, that are likely to be added to Minecraft. Really? Cool? Right. Okay. So I thought I'd do that for my studio. I'm typically in here for my SEO channel, but you know, sometimes it's easier to talk from here, right? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So the first mob that we're talking about that could be likely added to Minecraft is the ostrich. Yeah. So by the way, all of these mobs are all mobs that were mentioned by Mojang and they said that even though they're not being implemented now and they were part of previous votes in the past that they are likely to be added to the future but there's no guarantee just it's likely so back to the ostrich um so yeah this is kind of a cool idea for a mob and this would be a mob that spans or spans ha 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 spawns in the savannah biome so as far as like the needs and uses of the ostrich my assumption is the ostrich will actually be a mob that will be rideable and that you won't you know like kill it for food or anything wouldn't that be cool, having ostrich that's rideable? Um, I think it'd be cool if it had like an attack. Cause you know, like ostriches in real life, you know, they chase you and claw you with their toes and they're really quite deadly. I think it'd definitely be very cool to have the ostrich with an attack that's already part of the animal. So you're not like attacking from where you're sitting. So like when you board an ostrich, you can't use your regular weapons. You have to use the onboard attack, which is the toe claw thing, right? I mean, that'd be something new to Minecraft, a new mechanic. So just that alone might, be something they don't add just because it's a new thing in the program. I just think it'd be cool. So moving on to the next thing, the termite. This is also a mob that would be added to the savannah. I don't know what's the thing about it that except maybe it's kind of like an endermite or a silverfish. And they want to go around in the same way, but they appear in certain wood blocks in the savannah on rare occasions. That's kind of a cool idea. I think it'd be better if they only appeared versus the idea that they um, roam around looking for logs and devouring them. So if you like had an oak house they, or savanna wood house, they go and devour it. I don't like that and I don't think they do that. I think they'd operate more like silverfish and just randomly appearing out of oak logs when you chop them down. Kind of cool, right? Next is the meerkat, which would appear in deserts along with an oasis potentially. So um, there might be an oasis sub-biome that would be added where you have like trees around a water source and then the meerkats, which would potentially even live in holes. Wouldn't that be cool if they like spawn next to a hole and they could come out and they'd become within families? And I think that that would be an animal that you would possibly tame. Um, or since it's kind of more like a wild animal, like a fox maybe, it might be that meerkats won't be tameable, only allowed to trust. And then you could, you know, bring them to your home and they could run around your home. Pretty cool idea. I think the meerkat would be cool. Next would be the vulture, which would come in the Badlands, along with the possible introduction of tumbleweeds and flower cactus. Now, tumbleweeds, I don't know, maybe it'd be cool if they found a way to make it roam around. Uh, I don't know, but that'd be kind of cool because, I mean, why, it wouldn't really be much of a tumbleweed, would it? And a flowery cactus, maybe it's a source of food. I think they should do that. A vulture, maybe it um, is an animal that like hovers around hostile mobs expecting a kill or maybe like what they do is if an animal kills or drops food the, the vulture tries to run in and steal it wouldn't that be cool and then you have to fend off the vultures i mean maybe it could attack you but i, I think vultures would probably be like a neutral mob they don't attack you if you don't attack them but if you do try to hurt them that maybe they'll dive at you or maybe they'll just run away but i i think they'd be kind of cool as a neutral mob trying to take away your food when you drop it right yeah, that makes sense. Next animal is the frog. This would spawn in swamps along with a possible introduction of mangrove trees, which are white and would grow right out of the ground and through the water, and treasure boats. So you'd find a boat just floating in the swamp, all mystic-like, and they may even be haunted, right? Treasure boats, that's a cool idea. So the frog would be an animal that swims around and I don't know really what you would do for, with a, sw a frog as far as like killing it and getting things out of it unless it was like a poisonous frog and maybe you could get like poison from them and then use it in your poison potions or for poison arrows so maybe it could be useful that way um, otherwise I think they might operate more like bats and just swim around and maybe you can collect them with a, a bucket like a bucket of fish instead this time it'd be bucket of frog and then you could like take them back to your house and you know, you build your own pond and then drop it in your own pond and not just have fish, but have frogs too. And that would be kind of cool. Next, of course, would be the Moo Bloom. Now, in a way, this does already exist. I believe it's currently in Minecraft Earth, which, by the way, is going away, as I heard, sad. 
but since it's going away, maybe the Moo Bloom will make a reintroduction back into Minecraft. So the Moo Bloom uh, is like the Mushroom, except it's yellow instead of red, and the flowers on the back are yellow, and they're, they're flowers instead of mushrooms. And what he does is he walks around and he leaves a trail of flowers. So it's nice to have one because they create a bunch of flowers that you can use for dyes and other things. Um, I think what it might also do is when you milk it, I think it'll probably give you honey. So it'd be like a good source of honey, right? Now, since it'd be like an infinite source of honey, which would be kind of overpowered in a way, since you wouldn't have to get from bees anymore, I think they might make Moo Blooms um, super rare. Um, but when you do find them, I mean, heck, that's cool. So now we're coming to the last mob, which in fact is a hostile mob, and it's actually more like a character. It is the Isolager. Now, the Isolager is also something that already is, exists, a lot like pillagers and whatnot, you know, those guys. Um, and I believe they are already in Minecraft dungeons. As far as how they operate, you find them in cold biomes, and when they attack you, they summon ice above you that then falls and then stuns you if it lands on you. Pretty cool, right? So I think what they should do for the Isolager is create sort of like an ice castle or like a dangerous ice cave that these guys live in and you can loot them. So it'd be another like dungeon thing you could fight. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, well, that's all I had to discuss now. Here from my studio, we, were ta we talked about the seven possible mobs that could be added to, Mine added to Minecraft, already mentioned by Mojang, and already said that they are likely to make an introduction sometime in the future. Pretty cool, right? I can't wait. So, looking at these seven mobs, which one is the favorite? Me? I actually think the ostrich would be the, my favorite, just assuming you can ride it. But for you, I mean, what about you guys? What would be your favorite? Put that in the comments below. Well, I'm done talking here. I'm Ray Savage, here from my studio. Now enjoy your day, and watch some of these videos while you're at it.